Are you serious? Are you serious? What? I'm here in Dallas, Texas at the uh, studios of Sean Fussell. Uh, and he is just, uh, the hospitality has been wonderful. Folks are wonderful. We just thank God for each and every one of them. And Dr. Joe Glickman, yes, we're going to take you up on that and uh, uh, Wednesday evening. All right. So thank you for your generosity. Uh, let me just say quickly, North Korea has threatened South Korea with imminent war. This happens every other day now. What is up with Kim Jong-un? Also, the Homeland Security. Why are they buying 21.6 million rounds of ammunition again? I mean, how many bullets do they need in Homeland Security? Who do they think they're going to fight against? Us? What? A zombie apocalypse? What? Speaking of that, the Canadians are making fun of us down here in America because of the zombie apocalypse. But I'm writing a book called Zombie Apocalypse, not because of what these, uh, the Homeland Security and TSA and the FBI and the CIA and maybe even the PTA, I don't know, are all training to deal with the zombie apocalypse. Reality, folks, zombie apocalypse is real. It's just not like you think it is. Dead bodies are not just going to start crawling out of the ground and eating people. But a lot of zombies are walking around. People are being spiritually filled with demons. And they're being loosed upon the earth. And it's affecting their behaviors. And that's why you're beginning to see this cannibalistic and gnawing people's faces off and eating people's ears off and, and biting down and, and superhuman strength and stripping down naked, just like in the Bible, the uh, demoniac of Kadera did. So you're starting to see all this stuff and you're starting to understand there's something biblical must be going on, right? Of course. It's demon oppression. It's demon possession. And it's real. And so in my new book, Zombie Apocalypse, you might want to get a copy of that as it's ready to be released. Get, go ahead and get that. Check that out at my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. And I break down all these events. I, I categorize them for you where they've happened all over. What's causing it? What about voodooism? Is that the origin of it? What about the, uh, Jesus? Was he an exorcist? Yes, he was. The greatest of all. Is exorcism real? Yes. And I'll give you live situations. I'll even show you some of my own uh, situations I've been involved in and praying for people that's had some demon infestations in their home and even some demon uh, possession and some definitely some demon oppression. That's, and the flying crucifix. I'll even do a whole chapter explaining that event and why it happened and how. Uh, also, folks, terrible news out of uh, Spain. A woman walked into a bank and just set herself on fire. What? She walked into the bank and just lit herself up on fire. She's in the hospital, about 50% of her body with third degree burns. See, they, and they're just still trying to find, I mean, look, Spain is having a major unemployment age uh, problem. Major home foreclosures and evictions. The homeless population soaring from where it was 10 years ago. Spain is broke, busted, and disgusted. But so, and they've even had a run on their banks. Their currency's dying. Matter of fact, I got a, a Sean, show me something. Can I go get this for you? I'm going to show you a $100 trillion bill. What? Yes, yes, yes. Sean showed me this yesterday. This is actual currency. Uh, Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. The Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe printed a $100 trillion bill trying to keep up with the, with their inflation and their uh, currency issues. They printed this bill and shot. It's no longer, it's no good anymore. Uh, it's not real. It's not Zimbabwe's currency no more. It was at the time. It's got the little seal. It's got, the, got everything on it. This is a and Sean actually was able to acquire this, but it's $100 trillion of Zimbabwe money. Well, can I tell you something? I might have a dollar bill here in my pocket. I don't know. <laughs> Times are tough. It's hard to say. Okay. Do I got one? Oh, yes, I do. Okay. Here it is. This is a U.S. dollar. It's worth $1. Is it? Well, Paul, $100 trillion. Is it? One U.S. dollar. Is it? Is it worth a dollar? Don't take this to England and try to buy something as a $1 uh, because it's not worth 
one pound. Don't take this anywhere anymore. So what's going on? And is it true? Do the Germans really want their gold back? You know, we since World War II, we had it stored at Fort Knox. All the gold in California is in a bank in the middle of Beverly Hills. Maybe over in Fort Knox, Kentucky. Or is it on a ship headed to China in somebody else's name? Seriously. Seriously, the unemployment levels in America, which aren't getting better, just people are just drawing out their 99 weeks. Do you ever just go to your city and go down and look at all the empty buildings and rental space to set up um, retail stores for lease, for lease, for lease? For go to any major city, go to Louisville, Kentucky, go down Hurstbourne Lane, guys. I used to live down in there. You, you couldn't find a retail space to open a, a business. Now, what? Space after space after space. Go to Cincinnati, Ohio. Go to Pittsburgh. Go to Indianapolis, Indiana. Go to St. Louis, Missouri. Go, go anywhere you want to go. Go to Detroit. Go to Detroit. They're bulldozing people's houses. They're bulldozing full city blocks. Because the homes can't sell. They're underwater. They've been foreclosed on. Are you serious? Look at the unemployment levels in Nevada right now, almost 10%. That's Look, folks, we've got a serious issue, and, we, and, and now we don't know who the next pope is going to be, but if I'm, I'm understanding that if Peter the Romans, if Peter Turkston, if that's, I'm just saying, if Cardinal Peter Turkston from uh, Ghana is selected as pope, he's already called for a one world currency because he knows the... This $100 trillion in Zimbabwe or one U.S. dollar in America, neither one of them are worth the paper they're printed on. Are you serious? Are we getting close to the mark of the beast, Pastor Begley? Well, the technology's here. The technology's here. And if the technology's here, then don't why, why worry about printing on paper? Just adjust the currency levels, one world currency levels, Based on the little microchip or some kind of tattoo uh, embedded gold antenna um, GPS locking on uh, RFID microchip technology. And that's why people are getting my book and are reading, of course, and the Lord has blessed it tremendously as there's been eight events that I wrote about that have come to pass since I, the book went to the publishers on July the 1st, 2012 including the Pope would resign. That hadn't happened in 600 years. And that Mohammed Mercy and the Muslim Brotherhood would take over Egypt when there was 13 candidates, and it happened. I'm trying to tell you something, that God is inspired. Did you know the Bible says in Amos 3, 7, that the Lord can do nothing unless, except he reveal his secrets to his prophets. I mean, God is revealing dreams and visions. I'm not saying I'm a prophet. I'm, just, I'm a preacher of the gospel. But I understand Bible prophecy, and, and I do get prophecies. And matter of fact, Paul said, I pray that you would all prophesy. In other words, seek that spiritual gift. But don't, don't get me started on that. Listen, in, in, Tunisia, in Tunisia, where they just beheaded a Christian pastor, now they've hacked off a hand of an albino boy. And last week, they hacked off an arm of a, a woman, albino woman, uh, with four children because th these uh, witchcraft uh, that's going on in Tanzania. It's Tanzania. The, that's going on in Tanzania is so uh, that they believe if they can get their hand, if they can get a body part from an albino, that they have more spiritual power with the devil. It's wickedness. Oh, give your life to Jesus Christ. The media rights hitting in Russia. Uh, this should be a wake up call. Matter of fact, there's even a, a Russian cleric that's saying the Lord's trying to send us a message. I mean, look, folks, it's getting really, really, you need to give your life to Jesus Christ. Please give your life to Jesus Christ. Don't miss today's show. It starts in about an hour. I'm working on all the tech uh, technology, so we hope to be ready to go. God bless all of you in Jesus' name.